And we're back here at Carnes Sack Arena with Vin Parisi, Ralph Benorchik now welcoming in his fourth season as the St. John's women's basketball coach, Joe Tarnamella. He's been to the postseason every single year as a head coach coming off of another 23-win season. Uh, coach, certainly you have certainly you have all a lot of pieces in place headlined by both Aaliyah Hanford and Denadra Grant. Give us a synopsis of your practices so far with those two clearly, I think, setting a tone and an example for everybody. Yeah, you know what? I, we've had a, an exciting uh, 12 practice. I mean, we've, we've had 12. We've probably been really good for 10 and 2 that, you know, you have that you're maybe not so good. Um, but the, the excitement for them as a group has been enjoyable to watch, walking into practice every day, very energetic. Uh, they're ready to work. And so it reminds me very much of the team we had two years ago in that fashion. Uh, we've got Sandra Udobi back, which is a huge piece for us. People forget about her from last year and her leadership. Um, and just her presence on the court has been has been a significant difference for us this year coming into practice. Uh, obviously, along with Aliyah and Denasia, um, <coughs> who kind of lead the way for us. Uh, but Sandra being back is a big piece, and so we've been excited about that. And, and I've enjoyed I've enjoyed being in practice with them. They really have a workmanlike mentality right now. And Coach, you, having success here is is nothing new to, to you and this group the last few years. But take us inside the locker room as to what the message has been from the coaching staff to the players when you're at the top with the poll there with the preseason? You know, we know it's a preseason poll. We've been there before. Uh, we finished there. We finished above where we've been picked. We finished below where we've been picked. So we know it's a preseason poll. We, we uh, do look at it, though, as, as our peers have respect for our program, which is great to see. We also know that we want to be there in the postseason, but we also want to move up one and, and be able to win a championship. And I think we talk about being better you know, than we were the day before. I mean, that's the bottom line. And every day we come in, we want to be better than we were that day before and then be better tomorrow as well than we were that, than we are today. So that's a big message that we try to talk about every single day. I think our mission is clear. Our mission is that we want to win a Big East championship, and they know that. Um, we define that for them in different ways, whether it's practice or what we're doing, uh, you know, off the floor. Um, but this group is really in tune to what they want to do, and that's been the exciting part. So, um, you know, being successful one year is probably something that people would tell you maybe not may not be as hard as having that stayed, uh, staying success. And so that's the one part. When you're talking about eight years in the postseason, you got a lot of kids who have experience, a lot of kids who have experience about what practice needs to look like mm -hmm. and how we have to prepare. And so they do a lot of the coaching off the floor as well with each other. For our two freshmen, it's invaluable that they get the opportunity to speak to them. Plus having Deshina Stevens back, it's a big piece. I was going to get to that, Coach. Uh, two new assistant coaches you've added, Deshina Stevens from the class of 2012, a great role model, and then Tasha Pointer bringing her over after all the success she had, particularly as a recruiter under Hall of Fame coach C. Vivian Stringer, recruiting a state that's fertile like New Jersey and New York City. I imagine two critical gets for you. Yeah, I think in having Deshina, obviously as a former player we talked about, it's, it, she just knows, and, and she's, she you know bleeds St. John's pride. She was part of it. Um, so her her experiences for our players uh, hit home a little bit more because she's done the same thing that they're going through right now. Um, being able to bring Tasha over was kind of a home run for us. Um, someone who we had battles with in the past, obviously, when she was at Rutgers, so we, we mess with her all the time about it, but um, it's a great addition. And, um, you know, the one staying power, too, with Jonah Nicholas, who we've had, who I know for, for years and is, is a tremendous recruiter for us, who gives us, again, stability. Um, I love our staff and the dynamic that we have. And now having um, the group that we have as a staff upstairs, um, you know, I'm seeing a significant change just in our dynamic as far as recruiting, as far as on the floor. And so the excitement of our players with some new blood has been really important too. And uh, Tasha's bringing a different view from Rutgers. Deshina brings the player view. And Coach Nick has always been the stabilizing force with, you know, on our staff for all of our players with the relationships he has with them. And then as he goes out and recruits as well. So. Um, you know, I also had a Matt Bernstein back who was with Coach Roberts uh, at one time as our video coordinator. So um, a, lot of, a lot of changes, um, but some familiar faces and, and a lot of things that they can share with our team. With this much experience and talent with this group, and you know this as well with, with the past few seasons, you have that bullseye on your back a lot in November and December before the holidays. What do you want to see? out of this group before conference play begins in January? I want to see us competing. I mean, that's the bottom line. Uh, you know, I think when people look at our program, they know how hard we play, uh, regardless of the opponent. And, you know, whether it's UConn at the Garden, uh, whether we're playing Texas A&M at the Garden, uh, you know, we've had Auburn and, and, uh, and Florida up here last year, uh, down at South Florida last year. I want to see us compete. I mean, I'm looking for different things as we move along, uh, but I want to see us improve. 
I want to see us executing. And I'm, I'm very driven by results. And so when we get out there and it's time to have those lights go on, I want to see the results that we're looking for. And that's why we're putting in the time we are now. You can hear my voice is like gone, so you can tell <laughs> we've been practicing pretty hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you bring in two freshmen, both with very high-profile backgrounds, Jordan Augustus and Akina Welair. Where do they stand right now in terms of being able to be ready to help Aaliyah Hanford and Danger Grant at a high level? Well, they're going to have to. I mean, we got 10 scholarship players, guys. I mean, they're going to have to. They're going to have to play. And so, uh, Jordan, I've known probably you know since she doesn't even remember seeing me when she was probably 10 years old i mean i've known her for a long time i've watched her grow and and so she has steadily improved she is an unbelievably talented player she can score the ball she's got great ball skills and she's improved her defensive game from the summer into now along with her physical stature akina brings us a different aspect we haven't had now she can shoot it and so watching that in practice has been a joy seeing it go through the hole from three and so as we talked about improving our game, she's another piece that, that will help us, um, along with the guys that are returning. And so when you look at Imani Littleton and Crystal uh, Simmons, and then you have uh, Sox Alexander, those guys have to help. Um, where last year they weren't really ready. And so we've seen tremendous improvement. Um, but Jordan and Akina, as freshmen, I think, have the ability to help us immediately um, in many different ways with the versatility that they bring. Um, so I'm excited about them. Yeah, it's so, it's so interesting when you're able to talk to a successful young head coach and they have a few years under their belt now. Now looking back from that first press conference you had as a head coach, what maybe did you not know then that is totally at the forefront now? Well, my head's not spinning. I mean, that's the first <laughs> thing. I mean, it, you know, that first year was, was interesting. Um, you know, I, I, I've, I've learned to be more patient, you know, and, and I think that, uh, initially, you're, ju you're so amped up and, and you're ready to go that, you know, sometimes you lose sight of that patience part. And I think you got to be patient and, and you got to let the process and trust the process as you build your players. Um, but I think the impact that you have when you move over those few inches or a few mm -hmm. feet, um, I, I think you may underestimate at times. And I think so something I've learned is that impact is, is really important on what it could be with your players, it could be with the community, it could be with alumni, it could be with your fans. Um, people are gonna listen. And so, you know, I think you underestimate that initially because maybe you're not used to that. And as an assistant, you know, you do things, but it's still not the same. You know, and I think until you move over those few feet, you understand that. Um, so for me, that would be one thing maybe that, you know, that I know now better than I did then. Um, but I think, you know, all of the opportunities I had and the experiences I had as an assistant, it really prepared me for the, the opportunity to, to move over a seat. And I'm in a different place I, than I was then. I can tell you that right now. As far as comfortability, understanding the schedule, understanding the demands that were going to be on you um, from a holistic view probably really than just as an assistant. And I think um, your staff is so important. I mean, everything revolves around your staff. And if you don't put good people around you, you're not going to be successful. And so as, as cliche as that is, is it true? It's very true. So I'm very happy with our staff. Um, and you got to get good players. We won't, we won't win games, we don't have any good players. So we got to make sure we got good players. Joe, a few feet, but s several long strides already in your career. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thank you, guys. Good to see you. St. John's Thanks, women's coach. basketball coach Joe Tarnanella. St. John's will open up the season on the road November 13th at UCLA. They'll have the services of Big East preseason player of the year, Aaliyah Hanford. And she is set to join us next.